Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about the reactions of esters with carbon nucleophiles. If you, there's a pretty good chance you've encountered uh, the reaction of esters with Grignard reagents before, probably as part of studying the synthesis of alcohols, uh, and so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this transformation except to remind you uh, of its consequences and then to, to move on to other things right? that esters you know can be, react with Grignard reagents and while they may initially form ketones by substituting off the the out al the alkoxy group the ketone is You know, ketone is more reactive than the ester, so this reaction does not stop. There is just no absolute no way to stop it. You are going to get the tertiary alcohol, and you're going to get the tertiary alcohol where two of the hydrocarbon groups on that uh, alcohol carbon are the same, coming from the Grignard reagent. The other one is left over from the ester. And, and then maybe it's just worth drawing quickly the uh, mechanism for the first step, which in context is what goes along with this content. All right, it, this first mechanism is a nucleophilic acyl substitution, just like my you know overarching heading up there suggests that we have nucleophilic attack. Uh, make that look like it's more coming from the R and not the magnesium. You have nucleophilic attack of the R group on the magnesium. Cheat a little bit. We have a negatively charged uh, tetrahedral intermediate followed by loss of leaving group. The alcohol leaving, the alkoxide leaving group goes. There we go to generate the ketone. And, and again, the ketone is more reactive than the ester, so the ketone doesn't stay around. There's no way it's like, oh, we'll only use one equivalent of Grignard reagent. Well, the first Grignard reagent molecule will react with the ester to form a ketone, and then the ketone's more reactive, so it'll react with the next, and you'll get like a 50-50 mixture of tertiary alcohol and unreacted ester. It would be weird. Um, because esters are less reactive than Grignard reagents, there's just no easy way to stop at the ketone. In the previous video, I shared that there is a sneaky way to stop at the aldehyde when doing a reduction of an ester, but that's because that reducing agent is initially electrophilic, and esters are better nucleophiles than ketones. But... The Gilman reagents, which I introduced in the reaction of the of acid chlorides, uh, these lithium dialkyl cuprate reagents, are way more selective than Grignard reagents. And so it just turns out that they are so, so selective that they don't react with uh, ketones at all. I'm sorry, they do not react with esters at all. They don't react with aldehydes and ketones, uh, which is important because otherwise the conversion of acid chlorides and into to ketones wouldn't be possible because the Gilman reagent would continue reacting. And esters are less reactive than uh, ketones. Now, that isn't to say that somebody hasn't figured out the solution to this problem, but it's not one that we typically cover in an undergraduate organic course. So I'm leaving you with esters don't do this. In the next video, we'll talk about the uh, reactions of amides with hydride reducing agents and, you know, why amides have to be weird. Thank you for watching.